Hello everyone, my name's Simon Hodge. I'm director at Sports Connect. I'm just going to run through a few slides that I've pieced together regarding managing behaviour in sports coaching. So hopefully this helps. Uh, as we go to slide one, in, in my experiences, it's always good doing a little bit of homework uh, around the participants that you're going to be working with or you are currently working with in any environment that you're going into. So perhaps um, designing some sort of questionnaire, so um, online uh, and sending it out to the parents or the participants uh, to get some necessary background information. Um, which may include questions whether they do require or they do have any specific um, support or needs in particular within their educational environment um, and kind of the sports or the activities that they enjoy participating in. What that will enable you to do is, is to generate a group profile of what individuals would like within your sessions and it would support your planning. Obviously when the session actually comes alive you need to consider creating an engaging active session. Um, a lot of what I see in particular with sessions of people or, or children misbehaving is because the frame of the session isn't inclusive and players children are standing in lines standing around bored and not fully engaged in a session so part of the responsibility of the coach is to enable the session to be really really inclusive so that people are moving around active and involved things that you need to consider is how many players are available uh, how many do you need to plan for what are their ability levels and can we match those ability levels within the session? Do they have any, any individual needs? So if you have children that um, do have learning requirements, uh, are we writing things out for them to read? Are we explaining them one-to-one? -one? Are we pulling them aside and supporting and guiding them and showing them? Are we offering demonstrations um, through use of whiteboards or cones. And is the session fun? Is everyone enjoying themselves? Do children have smiles on faces? Within um, the sessions itself, I personally believe that what should happen before the session even begins is you should establish uh, the boundaries, which includes having a code of conduct, um, explaining expectations that might be verbally or that might well be um, through correspondence to parents before the session begins and explain your, your session guidelines. So what does a session involve? What does it include? And are the children aware of what the session looks like and what they're going to be doing within the session? Us as coaches or leaders, we need to lead our standards, which may include punctuality, um, dress, appearance, language. And we need to promote this within the sessions and praise others in particular who are involved in the session, who, who continue to demonstrate what we are modeling as coaches. And that's really, really, really important in, you know, in, the circumstance and the situation and the responsibility of the coach and the leader, we are acting as, as their role models. Therefore, we have to promote high quality standards. Don't prejudge, get to know them, build a relationship, build a rapport. So we coaches and leaders can fall into a bit of a trap of uh, obtaining information before the sessions uh, have began and start generating what they would uh, believe the the children are but try not to do that try to use the the questionnaires and the homework if you like on the children to understand the picture of of what they might need 
don't prejudge them get to know them don't jump to conclusions we understand that young children in particular can display erratic uh, behaviors they might be having other uh, circumstances within their lives happening we need to make sure that we support and, and not necessarily jump to the conclusions and, and enable us to get to know them give them time and patience if we can get to know them and give them time and patience we can understand them a little bit more and we can help them certainly more uh, rather than try to manage and deal with their behavior we can build a rapport and support be clear and consistent so establish those those ground rules if you like and use those ground rules and keep communicate communicating those gr ground rules clearly be consistent with all players don't have favorites remind players of the boundaries and the standards that we are modeling as coaches and leaders that we hope they follow be fair so treat everyone fairly don't be impartial and have favorites be a decent human being human being be approachable be supportive be caring praise is a vital tool to improve performance if we offer praise through children's application that's vital if we offer praise through them demonstrating positive behavior that's vital and if we offer praise through positive teamwork and them engaging and getting on and building relationships with others those three key areas are really important to be able to support the young people being able to care for them and the dividends that you will get back from a coach or a leader is that they will improve their performance and their character <laughs>